Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at this laptop from MSI. It is a workstation series. It is named as WE75. Whilst this video is not sponsored, however, this unit was provided for me to review and return. So here's my honest feedback on how this laptop's gonna fit into my workflow if I were to use this as my main laptop. Just to give you an overview of how many machines I normally deal with on my day-to-day -day workflow. As my main machine, I have a desktop that I custom made for architecture purposes, which I kind of featured multiple times in this channel. So you can find the link in the description for you guys to follow, see what that desktop is like. But also in between, I use my Surface Pro 4, which is trusty, slightly aged, but it still works. And I use my pen often to take notes and it has been very, very good with me because it is just light and much easier to carry around. But I also use powerful thin and light laptop, which can handle a bit of rendering and graphic intensive works. I can just use that laptop to jump between meetings. And if I need to go to conferences, I'm gonna take that laptop. And I think this laptop here is a one that I would possibly carry between meetings and such, and maybe conferences to do graphic intensive live demos and perhaps even VR presentation. Supposedly this is VR ready, so it is capable of doing so as well. So let's just kind of scope out whether this is suitable for our architectural design or AEC industry workflows. By the way, AEC means architecture, engineering, and construction, and we do quite a lot of 3D modeling and drawings and possibly some rendering. So we are somewhat dependent on CPU and GPU. Those two things, really important considerations. And because we are all all sort of designers we do look at the aesthetics so let's just kind of look through the exterior of this laptop there's not much of a review out there unfortunately because this is so new and hasn't hit the market as heavy yet so I think it is worth mentioning what the general look of the laptop is like and because this is a workstation series from MSI it is geared towards people who's in industry like us the architects or engineers it is not looking as fleshy as other gaming laptops which has all sorts of RGBs around. This one's very subtle and professional and you're not going to be commented when you carry this laptop into a more professional environment which I am very much conscious about whenever I'm doing sort of the VR demonstration. If you open up a laptop that has a lot of RGB lights all over it's a bit distracting. So I really do appreciate this sort of single logo with a sleek black finish to the laptop. And on the flip side, actually, it's a bit busy, but you're never gonna show this side, so it's okay. It carries functions as air vents, but um, it is light. It is somewhat plasticky, however, it gets the job done. It has rubber feet so that it prevents it being slid around. I have no problem with that. And if you look at the ports on this side, there's gonna be SD card reader along with two USB 3 ports and there's gonna be a power jack here with an air vent on the side. And on the other side is gonna be another air vent with Kingston lock on this side and a full ethernet port along with full HDMI port and mini display port and another USB 3A type and USB-C along with headphone jack and microphone jack. So there's really hefty selection of ports there. Something like this one here where HDMI and USB 3 is on one side, that's gonna work out perfectly for my VR setup. As you can see here, my VR requires the HDMI port and USB 3.0 A type port, and that's gonna connect perfectly on this side. So this is really good for VR presentation if you're trying to use your mixed reality VR headset. And with that out of the way on the back, it is big air vents on either side of it, and I don't see anything on the front in terms of ports. However, I do see three LED lights, one that indicates internet and battery, and then the drive indicator. So here is 17.3 inch wide screen here with a really thin bezel and I see a webcam with a microphone on top here and it has just a subtle MSI logo on the front and then a full keyboard with a number pad on the side which is kind of overlapping with the arrow keys that may be a little bit uncomfortable if you were to use it but I am type of person who uses number pad quite often so this is definitely appreciated and it also has a really big size touchpad here 
although I will typically use with a mouse, so it doesn't really matter, but it is there with the fingerprint sensor I can see. And along with the triangular power button on the corner, it has a two extra buttons. I have tried this. The top one basically configures your hardware settings from silence mode to sort of the balanced normal mode, and then the high performance mode. You can just kind of toggle through that. And you also have a print screen button on the side for you to just do a screen capture very quickly. And I forgot to mention, this is fairly light laptop for 17 inch. I think I have read it is just above two kilograms and it is really light. It is comfortable to hold with one hand without much of a problem. And for 17 inch, I haven't seen as light of a laptop before and it's gonna be a lot easier to carry. And also the power brick that it comes with is fairly light and smaller size than the ones that I have seen before. So this is turning out to be quite a portable machine. So let's look at the specs of this specific model here before we discuss about pricing. So let me just go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna connect to my little screen here so I can just kind of see the screen myself in a correct orientation. So here is a desktop. It kind of shows sort of the engineering diagram of their logo. So it is quite representative of this machine is geared towards carrying out professional work. Hence why it is called Workstation Series. I really appreciate that. Everything here is not flashy at all, like gaming laptops that I have seen and everything is geared towards someone who's trying to carry out work. So let me look at the system information here and the laptop should with Windows 10 Pro and it also is i7 9750H which is a 9th gen CPU along with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Often that is not as necessary however if you're planning to work on large size 3D models it is absolutely necessary and that's what I have configured my own desktop as and it also has IPS panel which has high color accuracy so for even graphics work this will be completely suitable it is 1080p but I I also find 1080p completely sufficient for workstations. If you need bigger screen, then you can just connect up bigger monitors and such. So this storage is seemingly connected by NVMe. It is hovering somewhere around 500 gigabytes. And then also the Intel 9th gen CPU that this laptop is specced out with. It has a total of six physical cores and hyper-threaded to 12 logical cores. So that is plenty for your workload, even for CPU intensive works. And in terms of graphics card, it is is fitted out with Quadro RTX 3000, which I believe falls somewhere between regular G4 series RTX 2070 and 2060 in terms of performance. And also this laptop is ISV certified, which basically means individual software vendors are certifying this laptop to be used for their software. So you can kind of check the list of the softwares that are certified on the website. So in terms of the price and the tiers, the top tier is this one, and then the lower tier everything else is the same it's just a graphics card that's going to differ and that one is going to have nvidia quadro t2000 and i believe that is not vr capable it probably is somewhere around geforce rtx 1660 cards so your day-to-day -day workflow has a lot of graphic card dependent work i suppose you need to go with the higher tier which is hovering at 23.99 and if you're not dependent on graphics card as much and you can go with 1999 dollars which is the lower tier version. So I usually have a mixed feeling about Quadro cards because they tend to be a bit more expensive than gaming cards, which are the GeForce models. But the benefit that you get is bigger VRAM, which is the memory buffer that you can offload your big model into. For a workstation like this, where you carry on professional work, the reliability of Quadro cards and the bigger size VRAM is definitely worth it. And this model has six gigabytes of VRAM, so it can definitely definitely handle a large workload. All of that is within $23.99 package, so I don't see why not people or the company who's willing to spend on a large VR capable machine, I think that is definitely a good price to invest in. So with few specs and numbers out of the way, let's just kind of look at how this laptop is handling graphic intensive work. So this is sort of the biggest model that I have that I can throw onto different machines to test out how they handle things. So it is seeming to be handling everything just fine. I can orbit and zoom in and out. And I'm gonna throw this model into Enscape and see how that one handles with the graphics card. So even with the smooth motion, everything is being handled just fine. Let me just kind of dive in there.
I definitely do hear the fans kicking up, but the motion is very smooth. I'm not seeing any jitters or stutters anywhere and everything is looking great. So I definitely do hear the fans coming on and it is quite a warm air coming out of the vents but it's not incredibly loud or anything that's gonna really bother you much. So it is good to see that it is able to handle heavy workloads and I do believe this is gonna handle sort of any work that you're gonna throw at in terms of 3D modeling and then rendering as well. And it shouldn't have problem running VR as well so this would be a good companion if you were trying to do VR presentation and things very light so it is much easier to carry around. And I really appreciate the fact that everything about this laptop is designed toward the professionals who's actually trying to carry out real work and I really have nothing to complain about in terms of the performance of this laptop so I definitely do recommend this laptop since it is a workhorse I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to follow more details if you have liked this content please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos and thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time bye